genius. He saw a problem and solved it. When you go to the supermarket, your pick of fresh fruits and vegetables is at your fingertips year round. But did you know an African-American inventor from Minnesota is responsible for creating the technology that makes that possible? Flowers in the middle of winter, pineapples, coconuts. It was unheard of until Fred came up with an idea. This is the history of Thermal King in Bloomington, starting with Fred Jones and Joe Numero. Rick Smith is the company historian for Thermal King, which pioneered the refrigerated transport industry more than 80 years ago. Fred came up with the first mechanical refrigeration unit that would go on the nose of a trailer. He says it was an invention by employee Frederick McKinley Jones that put the company on the map. In the big scheme of things, this, this gentleman did a lot and it impacts people every day and you don't even know it. Peace and love, family. Welcome back to the Hope, the H-O-P-E, helping our people elevate, where we tell stories that are left out of the textbooks. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you to the channel. To all the returning viewers, as I always say, welcome back, family. Today, we're going to shine a light on a man whose genius changed the way the world eats, transports, and survives. His name was Frederick McKinley Jones, and without him, there would be no cold storage no fresh produce on long hauls, and no vaccines traveling safely across the globe. Let's get into this brother's brilliant journey from orphan to inventor, from mechanic to history maker. Peace and love. On behalf of Akuno Sankofa Bay, you know what I'm saying? Jay, where you at? We're trying to help our people elevate. Hope. H-O-P-E. We're giving them hope. We're doing what we got to do, you know? Should Every day, one step at a time, man. We're going to make it happen. Helping our people elevate. Yeah. Sometimes I practice focus thought and meditate I'm trying to come with other ways to help our people elevate And seeking knowledge make me levitate The lifted mental state is what results from how we orchestrate This for the family's sake, let's self-reflect, let's self-evaluate And every day make sure the steps you take you calculate Receive a master's fate, I know I can't exist without the hate But that's okay, I balance that with higher self today Success is on this way and after that my flesh can pass away Frederick McKinley Jones was born in 1893 in Cincinnati, Ohio, but his journey was anything but easy. Orphaned at the age of seven, he was raised by a Catholic priest in Kentucky and left school by age 11. But he had a natural gift, the kind that can't be taught. He taught himself mechanical engineering by reading books and tinkering with machines. By age 14, he was already working as a mechanic. By 20, he was building radios, electrical devices, and cars from scrap parts. His hands were skills but his mind was even sharper. Fast forward to the 1930s when America was struggling through the Great Depression. Frederick was hired by Joseph Numero, who owned an electrical company in Minnesota. Their partnership would become historic. In 1935, Frederick McKinley Jones invented the first practical refrigerated truck unit, a portable cooling system that could be mounted on trucks, trains, ships, and planes. This meant perishable goods like meats, vegetables, and dairy could not travel long distances without spoiling. This invention wasn't just convenient, it was revolutionary. Before Jones, the only way to transport perishables was with ice and hope. With his technology, food could now be preserved coast to coast. Farmers could send fresh produce to markets hundreds of miles away. Grocery stores could stock goods from distant states. And during World War II, Jones' invention saved lives. The U.S. military used his refrigerated unit to transport blood, vaccines, and medicines to troops overseas. Without his technology, thousands might have died. His work quite literally kept people alive. Frederick McKinley Jones was awarded more than 60 patents, most of them in refrigeration, sound, equipment, and automotive engineering. In 1944, he became the first African-American elected into the American Society of Refrigeration Engineers. In 1991, years after his death, he was awarded the National Medal of Technology by President George H.W. Bush, making him the first African-American to receive that honor. But let's be real, his name still isn't in most classrooms. Most people have never heard of him, even though every refrigerated truck on the highway is a living legacy of his genius. Frederick co-founded Thermo King Corporation, which today is a multi-billion dollar company in cold chain logistics. Think about that. A black man born in 1893, orphaned, self-taught, barely educated by traditional standards, reshaped how the world molds food, medicine, and goods. Every time a refrigerated truck passes by, that's his fingerprint. And here's the kicker, he never stopped working. Jones kept inventing, creating, and improving technology until he passed in 1961. Frederick McKinley Jones didn't just invent a machine, 
He invented a new way to live, eat, and survive. His story is a blueprint that genius can rise from anywhere, even when the odds are stacked against you. Even when the society tells you you don't belong in the lab, the shop, or in the boardroom. So next time you buy fresh produce in the winter, the next time you get a life-saving vaccine, the next time you pass a coal truck on the highway, remember the name, Frederick McKinley Jones. Drop a comment if you learned something today. Like and share this video to keep this legacy alive. And subscribe because we're not done yet. We're building a digital museum on black brilliance one story at a time. Peace and love, family. He says it was an invention by employee Frederick McKinley Jones that put the company on the map. In the big scheme of things, this, this gentleman did a lot and it impacts people every day and you don't even know it. Jones was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, but as a young man, he ended up in Halleck, Minnesota, maintaining the equipment on a farm owned by the son of railroad magnate James J. Hill. Smith says Jones was a mechanical genius who built an early version of the snowmobile with a car engine and an airplane propeller on the back. He also raced cars, but he often came across bigoted drivers who didn't want to compete against him because of the color of his skin. He was good at what he did. He, he knew how to build a car, he knew how to race the car, and he, he did all the mechanics on it, everything, which, was, again, was unheard of at that period of time. Fred did it all. After serving in World War I, Jones taught himself electronics and created a device to combine sound with motion pictures for the small theater in town. That caught the attention of Minneapolis entrepreneur Joe Numero, who offered Jones a job to improve the sound equipment made by his company without meeting him. But when Jones showed up at his office, at first Numero thought it was a joke. He thought this black man standing in the lobby can't possibly be the genius that he heard about. So he kind of started quizzing him. Now, what do you know about microphone? What do you know about speakers? And Fred just told him everything he wanted to hear until Joe finally said, whoa, you're the real guy. Years later, Numero was playing golf with a friend who owned a trucking business. And he told Numero he wished someone would come up with a refrigerated trailer. Numero bet him $5 his resident genius, Jones, could figure it out. Joe Numero came back to Fred McKinley Jones and said, hey, I need you to create this refrigerated unit. And within a couple of weeks, we had a prototype. And uh, within a short period of time after that, we had the first mechanical refrigeration unit. So that's how this industry got started on a bet on a golf course. The invention became the basis for Numero's new company, Thermo King, in 1938. And Jones received a patent for his invention a couple of years later. The portable air cooling unit allowed trucks to carry fresh food anywhere across the country without spoiling, ushering in the era of the supermarket. During World War II, the military also used Jones's invention to transport and store blood, medicine, and food for troops on the front lines. I was eating nectarines the other day. I'm like, how can you eat a nectarine in Minnesota when it's 20 below? Well, that invention that he created in 1938 is the reason why I had those nectarines yesterday. In all, Jones held more than 60 patents for everything from a portable x-ray machine to an automatic ticket dispenser before he died from lung cancer in 1961. 30 years later, President George Bush Sr. posthumously awarded his widow the National Medal of Technology, making Jones the first African-American to receive the honor. Being an African-American first, it, 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 joy, it fills me with joy and pride that um, he did such a great thing for our society. This is the actual first unit created in 1938. A refurbished version of Jones's most prominent achievement is on display at Thermo King headquarters, and later versions are still being used to transport life-saving vaccines during the pandemic today, further cementing Jones's legacy for future generations as the king of cool.